Hey students, Tyler here. This is a quick video to show you how to combine your different PDF files for your History Fair project into a single PDF that you can submit to the Chicago Metro History Fair regional contests. If you look at my screen here, you can see that I've created a folder. This one happens to be on my computer's desktop uh, that contains um, an annotated bibliography. It contains my demo exhibit. I'll be showing you an exhibit today, but these steps will apply to every project category except for uh, the websites. And then I've also got a process paper with a title page included. You might have your title page as a separate PDF document, and that's okay. You'll just add that uh, in to the steps I'm about to show you. Um, but in this case, I've got my process paper and my, my title page are combined into a single document. So I know those files are already set. They're ready to go. Um, I just need to combine them. To do that, I'm going to go to a website called ilovepdf.com. You can see I've already pulled that up in my browser here. Um, one thing I want to say right now is that Chicago Metro History Fair does not run or uh, own or have any affiliation with this website, so it is 100% uh, uh, to use at your own risk. Um, however, this is the tool that is recommended by NHD or one of the tools recommended by NHD um, to combine documents, um, and it seems to uh, work rather well, but we do just want to kind of... Uh, make sure to provide that disclaimer here. So with that said, uh, you could go to ilovepdf.com and we're gonna go right here, the first option to merge PDF. I'll go ahead and click that. What I can do then is click this big red button to select PDF files um, from my computer and I could find that folder that way or I could just drag and drop the PDFs into the window. Since I know I already have my files kind of uh, up and waiting for me in that folder I just showed you, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all three at once and I'm gonna drag them into my window. If I missed one or something like that and I needed to go ahead and, and grab another file and add it in there, that would be fine. I could go ahead and do that. In this case, I've just accidentally added two of my process papers, so I'll just go ahead and click the X next to one of them to remove that file. Now, since I'm submitting an exhibit, the order that my files need to go in is specified in the student registration instructions, and I know that that order is first my title page and process paper, then my annotated bibliography, and then my virtual exhibit. So I'm just gonna line those up in that order, and then I'm all set. I'm gonna click this Merge PDF button. That's gonna give me a message that my PDFs have been merged, and I can click that to open a dialog box on my computer asking where I would like to save that merged PDF. I'll save it in the same folder we've been working on this whole time. It's automatically named it as I Love PDF Merged. Um, that's fine. You actually don't need to rename your files to upload them to ZFairs, but you might want to rename it just so it's uh, to keep your own files organized. But let's pull that up and see how that looks. And what you can see here is that once I zoom in enough, I've got a nice readable... Well, it's readable. It's not very nice. My project is very incomplete, and my process paper and annotated bibliography are, are quite short. But just for demo purposes, you can see these are all in one document. And then if I just keep going, the next page is actually my exhibit itself. And so this is what judges will see. They'll see this single file, and it'll be really easy for them to go through and read your written materials and then your exhibit at the end if you are working on an exhibit. If you're working on the other, other project categories, just make sure that you follow the student registration and submission instructions for your category to know which documents you need to combine into the PDF for submission to the Chicago Metro History Fair contest. Thank you and good luck making history.